Hello there, everybody. Welcome back for another exciting episode of God of War 3. Last time we took off, we got a new weapon, which of course is the Nemesis Whip. And today, we are going to finish the next subplot of Hera. That's right. This is Hera's reign of terror now, so... She won't last long. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Once we find her, of course. told him to kill you. I told him the day you were born to kill you. But he would not have it. My stupid husband took pity. And now look what you have wrought. Look at this. Look at it. They're dying because of you. Everything is dying because of you. The sun is gone. The ocean swallowed the land. Disease infects what remains. I am doing all I can to keep them alive. But you... Your ruthless murdering of the gods has caused all of this! Ah! You think this garden is not protected? Your brute strength may have bested Hercules. But your simple mind will never find a way out. I look forward to watching you die here, as an old man. That's what she thinks, but Kratos is a lot smarter than he looks. Well, granted, I mean, it's, a, it's up to the player whether or not Kratos does that, but yeah. So, essentially, what she's saying is we need more wit than just straight up, you know, brute strength to get out of this place. So, this is a godly possession here. This is an automatic mandatory goddess possession. You can't really miss this one. It's almost impossible to miss it. Before we start and get too far ahead, go ahead and come back here and grab these chests. That way I don't forget them, of course, or you forget them. But anyway, that's the end of the Phoenix Feathers, and I believe that's every thing upgraded for magic. Yeah, that's magic fully upgraded, so there you go. These people right here, well, they're going to die anyway. Who fucking cares anymore, right? We already caused so much mayhem and chaos, might as well just finish them off for good. Somebody's walking over there, do you see that? Oh, man, can you imagine like if God of War had like a horror side to it? Which, I mean, you know, when I was a kid, I used to be fucking scared shitless of God of War 1, but that was a long time ago. Fucking bitches. Come here. Let's try out this uh, Tartarus Rage real fast. There you go. That thing fucking rips assholes like it's nothing. It rips them like it's nothing. I also love the design of the blades fully upgraded. I always did. I always thought getting the blades fully upgraded was badass. It was like in God of War 1, it was red. God of War 2 is like full throttle like... Wasn't it like just straight up glowing yellow? And then God of War 3, it's... You know, this bright-ass orange with sparks coming out. And the chains... Oh, man, I don't remember. I think chains was... Yeah, chains was red. Red is, like, straight red. Now, Ghost of Sparta, I don't remember. Which, actually, the blades in Ghost of Sparta are pretty fucking cool-looking. I'll give it that. Don't, like, even though I don't like Ghost of Sparta as much as the other God of Wars, I still have some things I like about it. The whole Atlantis appeal... You know, and then just the fucking green looking blades. Like it's it's a cool design. It's it's neat when they change up the design of Kratos' blades every once in a while, which I'm sure some people are probably like, but you're a huge God of War fan. You you can't just say that you like change in a God of War game. I can, you know. There's some games I don't like change in, but there are some games that, you know, it's not too bad with. Now I know there's still stuff we have to do, but for the for the time being I'm gonna check around. Just be on the safe side, because we will get locked out if we're not careful enough. And that's what I'm trying to sort of avoid, is figure out where and what is lurking in the back so I can grab those. Which I might have already gotten the chest that I was mentioning before out of the way. Do I really need health? No, not really. We'll be alright. 
if we need it that bad, we'll find some more later. We don't need magic either. Which I could just show you guys what the full throttle R2 Army of Sparta attack does. But upon entering this room, we will get bombarded by satyrs. And I'm sure we all remember these little fucking dick bangs. If you straight up grab them like this, Kratos will do a attack that essentially bashes our heads in. They don't have any indication of execution attack. If they stand on their staff like that, spear, whatever you want to call it, I call it staff just because. If they stand on it like that, that's when you know they're about to parry you, so be careful of that. They block quite a lot. They have a attack where they jump from the wall and grab you sometimes, so be careful of that. And they can also knock you in there, just like so. If they do that, then come down with a hearty, hearty slam attack. Now the problem with doing this on them is hit, sometimes their fucking butt buddies will get in the way of you and essentially fuck you up, so be careful of that. These guys are a little bit easier to take down than they were in God of War 1, especially. Oh, man. That's it. You know what? Fuck this bullshit, man. Fuck this bullshit. Yeah, I think they can actually knock you out of the Rage of Sparta. Possibly. Almost looked like he did for a second. I, it's funny, like I said, I need health, and here I am not doing it. Ah, fuck it. I was going to show off what uh, the execution looks like for them, which will have more, more than enough opportunities to fight more dickless assholes like them later, so. But I didn't have to do that. I could just kill her off and got the plus five orbs, but knowing me, I'm a cheap ass. Oh, here we go. Full throttle magic. Could have probably saved that for later, actually, but I didn't. You come back here and then kill this guy. There you go. And we got chests, so here you go. There is, of course, a hidden chest, too. Grab this. This might actually be the one I was missing. But hey, look at that. We got full health now. Awesome. That's right. Full health and full magic. All we need left. No, wait. No, we're not at full health yet. God damn it. We got three more to go. All right, that was close. That was close. And then, of course, we still have, like, I think, six more Minotaur horns to go. No, four, technically, because we got one right now that give me the upgrade, and then we got three. Ooh, I think I fucked up. Uh, it's possible. I guess it's rat's ass. But if you walk upon this Hyperion, yeah, the Stone of Hyperion, you can see blah, blah, blah. And somehow Kratos figures this out. And this is... Weird. I guess if I was to... Okay. Here's my theory about this. There's... I have two theories about this right now. So, as you can see, if the statue... Whatever the statue sees, no matter what the angle it is, it forms, in this reality, a staircase like that. It forms these things together. But exactly how... Does Kratos go about it? Is the question. See, now I'm up here. Which is weird because... How does Kratos see that? Like, what does Kratos see when that's happening? Is it possible he's looking through the reflection, maybe? And just going upon that? Or is he just... Or is it like whenever the thing activates, it somehow... Since it's in Kratos' hand, it somehow gives him the ability to see what it sees and travel across himself? I mean, it's hard to say. I, I'm not really sure exactly how it works. Well, there you go. There's a Minotaur Horn. That's out of the way. So we got three more to go, and then we're finally fully upgraded with our item upgrades. So that's almost done, too. I can't believe I missed a fucking chest, though. God damn it. That happens in a lot of my God of War playthroughs, honestly. But they give you enough chests to essentially fix that. At least they should. I'm pretty sure they would. All right. Uh... There is something I gotta do here first. But what was it? There's Hera right there, so I guess go deal with her ass? Maybe? Right now? I mean, I might be going the wrong way here. Starting it off the wrong way, because. Well, no, because I can't go back, so I'm gonna have to do the whole water thing then. Alright. I didn't think so, but okay. If you say so. Well, if we can probably burn this. No, can't. Can't yet, I should say. God fucking damn it, Kratos, come on. Well, I wonder if what would happen if I push it like this. Nothing. Okay, just making sure. 
I'm just checking. Because you never know what can happen. If we push it like this... What the hell was that noise? <laughs> push it like this, the water gets on top of there, which somehow it ends, uh, I guess. But then again, I guess there's that bridge over there that ends it. Possibly? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Ah, it's weird, ain't it? It's a weird fucking game, guys. It's a weird fucking game. Alright. This is a weird place. That's There's no doubt about that. You simple mortal. How dare you challenge us? You think you can just walk away? We aren't finished. <laughs> What have you done? What have you done to me? You coward. You destroy all you touch. <laughs> Good luck with that little whore you call Pandora. Okay, so now after killing Hera, it causes pretty much all the plants in the world to essentially die off. So, I don't know that Hera was a goddess of plants, too, apparently. Uh, one thing we need to do is, well, if we can get her ass out of the way first, push this up here, like this. Push it like that. And that will be put in place for a little while. Now we can grab Hera and put her on top of... Well, pretty much whatever we, the hell we need, honestly. If we put her on top of that, it will essentially... We don't have to use her for this. We could just st stood on it. Honestly. But yeah, that builds up that ridge, which causes this water to pour down this way. And into this bucket here. Which will move that. And that, essentially, is where we need to go to put Hera at next. So, now with that out of the way, we come back over this way. Grab this. Turn around like this. And then we're going to move it down to the bottom right. To make another set of stairs. That only the Hyperion can see. So yeah. Alright. And push it in. Do all that good stuff. And yeah. As you can see from the, the angle, it makes a set of stairs. Which again, like I mentioned earlier, we have to put Hera into it because apparently they don't want water in that, I guess, so even though they had water in literally everything else. Now this thing is timed, by the way, I'm sure you guys probably, you know, figured that out yourselves already. Walk up here, don't press circle, just press R1, wait for the prompt to come up, and there you go. But yeah, it's timed, so just be careful, watch yourself, and it'll be okay. So yeah, that ends... It opens up that, I think. There's... Oh, I know what we gotta do now. So, to finish off this level entirely, we have to push this thing on top of the button. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and make sure that I have everything in the clear. Because I feel like I'm still missing something. Which I probably am... Probably not, actually. I don't know. It doesn't feel like I am. Alright, so, push that here. Yeah, like, my theory does kind of make more sense once we get out of here. The theory I was talking about, like, Kratos essentially can somehow, I guess, see inside of the statue. Or even then, 
maybe my theory might not be correct because you know Kratos could essentially just not want anybody else to get through here I guess so we'll see that when we get to that point which comes up rather soonish I'm just gonna pretend like I have everything I need because we still got quite a ways to go folks you know again like I said we're at least uh, yeah it's hard to say where the halfway point is but we're we're at least I would say there but it's hard to say but yeah watch this Kratos breaks it right in his hand that thing screams for a bit, and then that's it. That thing shuts down for good. So, yeah. You know, no more of that eye, and there goes everything else. Honestly, we can't go back, luckily enough, because if we could, then we'd be stuck, wouldn't we? So, yeah, isn't that kind of like a weird-ass puzzle? It's one of the weirdest God of War puzzles, for sure, like, no doubt. But... Alright. Next up, shoot the harpy. I gotta come over here, and then we're gonna have to fly across. Oh boy, fantastic, right? But you guys can't wait. Oh, I know. I'm always ready for this shit. Why are you not grabbing anything? Poof. Oh, fuck. Okay, I made it. Made it across, and there we go. There is a chest up here, as you can see. So go ahead and shine your shine bright like a diamond on that, and there you go. Poof. Two more eyes, and then we're done. Not fucking bad. Not too strawberry. I swear I forgot where that's from. I think it's from Courage. But I always say it. Just out of habit, I guess. Turn this bitch once, and there you go. Now we're heading into the next area, which... Yeah. Oh, boy. Can't wait, can you? <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I mean, that's... Most of the bullshit, in my opinion, is kind of done. There is another boss that comes up that's sort of bullshit, but not too bullshit, I guess. Well, yeah, I know we got new types of enemies here. These are like ice scorpions. They come and choose ice to kill you with. That's the execution attack. They don't really do anything else besides just sting you, really, so... Yeah, honestly, nothing really too special about them. They're just normal, small-ass enemies to take care of. Not too big. Uh-oh. I think we're running out of chests, because that probably would have been a fucking organized chest. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they have it selected with certain Minotaur and magic ones. That might have been a Phoenix Feather, if anything. That's my guess. So hopefully I'm actually able to get everything upgraded. If not, we're going to New Game Plus it, and I'll have everything upgraded that way. For those that have OCD like I do, then there you go. Alright, let's see. Nothing back there at all? Okay, good. See, at least in this fucking game, the elevators can go by pretty fucking quick. I'm like, the new God of War? Jesus Christ. Yeah, literally, like, trying to figure out, or trying to find shit, you know, and having to, like, go back and forth between rooms and going up elevators. Okay, so don't really sting you. I guess they swiped you with it. Wait, have we fought these things before? No, but anyway. But yeah, like, going up those fucking elevators was just so damn annoying. Sometimes. I feel like it was. I personally feel like it. Are you fucking serious? Alright, let's try out the L1X for... Or L2X for those that are probably concerned. Yeah, it actually lights things in a blaze, so I guess it's... Cool. I don't use it as often, because it just doesn't really suit me very well. It's not... My cup of tea. If anything, I guess, to be honest, the Claws of Hades actually work wonders on these guys. I mean, yeah, you can use a Cestus and beat them down really fast, but the blade, the, but the Claws of Hades really get that kind of decent reach on them. Yeah, you will, just so you guys know, you will probably never see me use the fucking whip in this game. I mean, no doubt, because I just don't like it much. So here's another notebook entry for you guys. If you wish to read, go ahead and pause it, unless you can read fast enough, and there you go. Nautilus, Daedalus, whatever. Was he the one that made this place? I was not reading at all. Yeah, it shows how much I actually pay attention to anything. Ah, you guys remember this place? The caverns? Yeah, I do, and I don't want to be back here anymore. Oh, fantastic. Yep, yep, yep. Now we gotta fucking go through this shit. The labyrinth again. But there's somebody here. 
Who could that possibly be? That's right. Next I will take... Okay, so he's talking to himself then. When he says he's bringing his... Talking about, he's, the guy's talking about bringing his son back, but... Who possibly could his son be? We'll find out. When we get to that point. Which... You guys might already know right now. I don't know if that was... Exactly the direct letter to the sun or not. Yeah, I don't know. I was not, again, I was not paying attention. Do I ever? Do I really ever pay attention? Oh, shit. Ow. God damn. Alright, I'm getting hurt real bad here, and I'm not supposed to be getting hurt that bad because this part is going to be filled with Cyclops. So, Cyclops is. whatever you wish to call them. Cyclops C? That's right, bitch. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Come here. Yeah, boy. I was so late to that party, finding that fucking video, I swear. Oh, All right, look, it's a, it's another fucking Cyclops. It's a Triclops. Because <laughs> there's three of them now, dude. Oh, what about a dual Clops? Yeah, that'd be stupid. All right, that's it. Fuck this bullshit. Army of Sparta, just fuck him up, please. Thank you. Okay, so once you ride this asshole... We're gonna have to fight through a fuck ton of Cyclops, so your best bet is to just, just kind of swing around a bit here with Square and just hope to hell that you hit at least a few of them at the same time. Because, yeah, look, he's almost down. We're gonna have to fight all those motherfuckers. But, get a few of them in circle and that can save us some trouble. At least we get iframes from it, so. Come here. God damn. Before we finish off him, let's upgrade. Yay. Now I get the unending shadow, right? Sorrow, L1 triangle and L1 triangle in air, but no new souls. No new souls. What the fuck, man? Now we get the savage charge, which is R1 in triangle, and then we get the Nimi War level 2, which is R2. I'll show those off when we get the chance to fight normal basic enemies. And the whip gets L1 square in air, and right on ground, severe judgment, and increased righteous tirade duration hold square and now ascension is hold triangle so yeah that's a new thing for it that one is basically the gauntlets of zeus technically in a way because you hold square and or triangle with it but those are upgradable so now i mean the gauntlets are upgradable too but you know what i'm saying like you have to upgrade to get that ability holy butt fuck all right so what did we earn from the nemean cestus it was a yeah, I remember what it was. Okay. But well, first, let's show up the claws real fast. So, this is the L1 triangle attack, as you see there. Not particularly the best, but hey, not the worst either. That's essentially what it does. Again, the claws are somewhat weaker than the way they think. Yeah, it's not really working for me much. That's it. Fuck this. This is the one that does, like, a fuck ton of damage, so... I've always been really good at dodging Cyclops attacks. But for some reason, I'm just not doing that good at all. I don't know why. I need to start playing these games on hard again. That way, I can at least get somewhat of a... Somewhat of an experience with it once again, you know? That would be nice, wouldn't it? I'm not fucking riding his ass again. No, fuck that little shit. It's gonna kill his ass. I mean, yeah, I get like a plus 25 orb thing, but hey. I don't really care that much. Hopefully this next one will not be a goddamn red orb chest. I mean, red orbs are nice. I love me some red orbs, but... Oh, thank God. I want these things upgraded fully before the end of the game, please. Please, game, grant me my wish to have that be so. Oh, wait, I'm over in. Well, work on the claws next to get them fully upgraded. Because they're at least good. At least decent, so... Okay... Damn, he's been here forever. What it seems like. Come on, open the damn thing, please. Alright. And out we go. Granted, this would be a great plot, a great place to end off the video, but... You know how I am. That never happens, does it? Well, I'm trying to, like, find a spot to get to a safe spot and end it there, but... I'm afraid we might get stuck into a gauntlet fight, and if we do... Luckily for you guys, this is a longer video than it really needs to be. That That's essentially what's going to happen if that happens. So, Here's another notebook entry again. 
Blah 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 blah. Day 275. Well, then again, he's been here for about, about 3,000 days now. Like, goddamn. So, falling down here, what do we get? Come over here, and there's a chest, which... Actually, I don't remember this one being here either. But it's a giant-ass bread orb chest, so more than likely it would have been a phoenix feather. If my theory is correct. Collect, that is. The thing is, there was a safe spot back there, but... I probably should just... If it comes to it, I can probably just go back and save it that way. Oh, but what is this I see? This is for something later, gentle, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that's right. That comes into play much later. For right now, we're just going to ignore it, pretty much. Which is one thing that the new God of War didn't really do. Well, it, it had a lot of things that pop up, like, in the beginning of the game. They want you to go back and get them. But, you know, how God of War... I'm not saying, like, it's a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, God of War and, the, you know, the older ones made it to where, like, oh, you see that object there coming up on your path. Like, there's really no way to get back. But, uh, yeah. Uh, for you guys, I'm going to make it go until I get to a safe spot. How about that, huh? This might be a 45-minute video. This might even be, like, an hour-long video. Fuck, I don't know. It could be a long-ass video. Let's try this again. That's what it does. So, there you go. This is a uh, rolling triangle, which is actually okay. It's not bad by any means. It's going to be a lot fucking worse than it is now. I assume if we get up there, probably more likely past that door, probably be a safe spot. I mean, I know they just gave us one not too long ago, but still, you know, finding safe spots in this game is harder than it seems to be, I guess. <laughs> harder than it needs to be, I'll tell you that. Oh, man. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to skim through that, but I guess you guys can probably read that quickly enough. I tend to... That, that's just a bad habit of mine. I tend to do that quite a lot, actually. Oh, hey, it's Gorgon's. Sweetness. I haven't actually fought these in quite a while. I mean, yeah, we fought, uh, you know, the bigger Gorgons, but uh, these ones are much different. They look like Medusa. And the other ones look like Uriel, so... I assume those two are dead. And I got no orbs from it, which pisses me off. In the very least. Then, well, they might not be dead. They might just... Oh, they're dead. There's no way they're coming back from that one. Also, if you come back here, uh, you can find a spot. Run up here. And there are chests back here. So this one will probably be... Let's call it right now. Minotaur Horn. Bam. Fucking called it. Yep, there you go. I should start doing that from now on, like, try to take, like, a guess and see how many I get right, you know? Kind of a cool little fun game, would it? Try to remember how many fucking things I know. Uh, I don't think there's anything over there, and I don't suspect that there's anything down there either, so... Don't be like me playing Super Mario World and think that there's something down there when there's an absolutely not. And basically make a fool of yourself on video, which I think is gone, actually. No, it wasn't not. It wasn't not hit the checkpoint. It, this was like a longer time ago. This was an older channel we had. I'm not sure if the videos are gone or not. Uh, don't think there's anything down there. I don't believe so. I mean, I'm just gonna say no on that one. That one does not look good. I mean, there's, but it's so small of a gap. Why would it matter? You know what I mean? Like, why would it? Mm, I don't know. I don't know, folks. I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I miss shit because I don't try shit. I don't exactly know where everything's at. And I never presume... Well, I think I have said that before. Like, oh, I know everything about Metal War. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I probably mentioned that before. Knowing my ass. Oh, don't tell me that's going to be longer than it needs to be. Oh, it is. It's going to be longer than it needs to be. Oh, Fuck. Again, like I said, lucky you guys, you get at least a 45 fucking minute video, or possibly an hour long video. So, congratulations, you made it this far. <laughs> we made it to this part in God of War where I need to find a save spot, and it's not coming in. It's not coming to me, which I had the perfect opportunity to save it and quit. But alas, I have not done it. Oh shit, there's Big Mama Bertha right there. Alright. So, after killing Big Mama's babies. 
we gotta deal with Big Mama Joe herself. That's right, folks. This is the giant ass scorpion boss fight that I think you've probably more likely heard of before in the past. This is a chaos mode killer. As in, this is the bitch that fucks up everything in chaos mode runs. At least for me, it does. To take her down, we have to kill off her legs by breaking them. Well, breaking off the crystal around her legs. Uh, avoid the tail swipe like that. These scorpions do technically infinitely spawn. So if you need to get some juice as in health back, go ahead, do an execution attack, and you will probably more likely be guaranteed health out of it. And nice little bit of iframes too, so there's that. Break off the next piece of leg. Try your best to break off the, the other one. The scorpion will jump to the other side if you can get like... Try your best to try to get like two at a time, if you can. Two hit at the same time. Save yourself the trouble though. It saves me the trouble though. Yeah, if you hit the actual claws itself, you will be knocked back from it. Oh, there we go. Alright, so... Breaking off of the crystals, and... She will... He or she, whatever. Must not assume genders here. Will eventually be knocked down. Go straight into fucking rage mode. Or however you wish to please it. Hit her in the face. Hit her enough times, and there you go. Yeah, the thing does have an eyeball, too. It actually has two eyes. Hard to see, though, but they're there. <laughs> Alright, that's the first part of it. Now watch out for this. Watch out for that charging attack right there. It's not much of an attack, but it is technically an attack. It will actually hit you. Alright, so fuck up the scorpions, and then the big scorpion will come back eventually and try to blast you and swipe you a few times and then jump onto the stage. Essentially, whenever it moves at all, just avoid it completely. Ah, oh, goddamn. Now, I do believe that a slam attack like that does sort of cause damage to the crystals. At least it should. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. Yeah, fuck these assholes. Just straight just execute all of them. There's so many of them, too. That's the thing. Yeah, this, this part spawns a fuck ton of them. I'm, I'm like... I mean, like, a fuck ton. I'm getting real sick of this bullshit, though. I heard fucking jumping off. I assume it's a her because there's a bunch of babies around and you know how you know how the dads are. They always just take off anyway, so there's that. <laughs> just like in the animal kingdom, so do humans. No, I'm kidding. Not every dad does that. Just mine. <laughs> no. Oof. Fucking die, God Christ. It just doesn't stay up here long enough for me to kill the damn thing. That's what's annoying. I mean, hey, it's still getting orbs, though, so it's not too bad, I guess. God damn it, come here. I can kill you. There, finally broke off one. I gotta break off the other one. And of course, you turn right around and run off. Ugh. That's what elongates this fight. It's so annoying. Though, it really is a pain in the ass fight. It's a cool fight. Don't get me wrong, I like this boss. It's annoying when you have to keep fucking looing around with it. Also, if you do attack the legs without the crystal on them, they do give you a combo for it, like combo hit damage thingy, but uh, it's not necessarily worth it, in my opinion. I don't think. I mean, I'm dying. Oh, well, I'm not. I'm just getting hit a lot, actually. Silly me. Oof. God, shit. This thing just goes on for fucking ever. God, this is like a Marvel movie now, isn't it? Like, it's two hours long to just... This whole fucking set. Stop! I'm not doing anything to cause her to do that! At least I hope I'm not. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, folks, this is the Scorpion boss. Oh. The Scorpion Queen. <laughs> yeah. Still better game than Sonic Unleashed, right? <laughs> oh, that game's not terrible, just... It's a lot different than it needs to be. It just tries too hard, I feel like. And that's a lot of Sonic games, in my opinion. Just They try too hard to make Sonic as different and unique as possible, but also trying to, you know, just... I don't know, not make a staple for itself. Like, change is nice, but change all the time just makes it kind of expected and predictable. And it's like, this is just not that good. Any mo. 
Oh yeah, watch out for these fucking icicles. Though. These things hurt. And I think if they hit you enough, you will go flying out. Poof. And done. Sort of. We're almost done with this bitch. Yeah, I'm here. There we go. That thing is going to be dead rather soon. But yeah, it's made out of... It's Stinger's made out of ice and has the ability to freeze people, so... There's that. Go ahead and break it, and there you go. Now we're done with that fucking boss. Jesus Christ almighty. But we're not exactly done yet. Because we have to collect our reward besides the orbs. Breaking this gives us the Boreas thing, I guess. The thing that basically essentially allows the scorpion to Boreas Ice Storm. So yeah. I thought Boreas was a god, not necessarily a, you know, a scorpion. Man, I, I don't know shit, guys. Like I said, I'm, I'm too stupid. Okay. So that opens up that. I don't think there's any chests down here I need to worry about. At least I hope not. This place is filled with crap like that, though. Sometimes. Nothing over there that I can see. And I don't think there's anything up here, though, but it doesn't hurt to check. Ah, you see? I would have missed that because I'm a dumbass. But it's red orbs anyway. But hey, red orbs. Yeah, and you get a fuck ton in this game, though, honestly. Alright, final upgrade. Soul Summon is level 3 now. And we've got Cyclops Berserker, Siren Seductress, and Cent Centaur General is currently active. Okay. Cool. So yeah, Cyclops Berserker and the rest of the three are there. And I'll show that off when we get the chance. Next, I'm going to go ahead and try to upgrade the Neomian Cestus, which we now we get the Crushing Strike and an Air, which is a one final. And then upgrade a little bit of this. Close. Not so dark. I'll show that off right now. No, right now. That's what a one triangle does. There you go. And I'll sh if I remember to, I'll try to show off magic later. Again, if I remembered. But we'll see. Well, I can just show it off now for the sake of it before we get off the note, before I forget, because ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to forget. Unless we don't have a safe spot coming up, then uh, we're fucked. Then, if that's the case, if we go way too over time, I will just go ahead and make a new video or something. Or just cut between this video, so who knows. Honestly, who knows what the hell I'm gonna do, actually. Please tell me there's a safe spot somewhere, goddammit. That's what I need. Oh, fuck, I fucked up. Okay, well, I didn't fuck up too bad, though. Yep. Oh, son of a bitch. It's one of those, isn't it? Yes. I believe so. Well, great. Alright, cool. So we got another fight on our hands. This is the Cerberus Berserker. I believe it's called. Freeze these assholes, because I don't fucking like them. <laughs> don't break the chain. Fuck you. Get out of here. Fucking pathetic ass prick. Yeah, as you can tell, like, the L1 triangle attack for the Cestus is okay at best, but in my opinion, I don't really use it as often unless there's just like a small group of enemies or a group of basic enemies that I can kill off like this. Or even that for that matter, just, you know, essentially breaking uh, them while they're stunned because no matter how heavy you hit the shields, it will not break in one hit. It, I mean, I don't even know if, you know, magic could even do that. All right, you know what? I'm going to show off real fast uh, the next the Centaur General as well for y'all. For y'all, he. This is what the Centaur General does. Charges right into me and essentially just knocks him right the fuck off. But yeah, if you knock those guys off, you're not getting the orbs for it, so be careful of that. Upgrade this real fast. Uh, one. Okay, we'll try to go stronger attack. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the holding square thing. All right, did I actually do uh, the last one, the Seductress? Yes, okay. So let's first break this so I can at least show what kind of damage it could do. That's what it is. It's useful. Wasteful. Wasteful. That's what I meant to say. All right. <sighs> Next, I'll try to show off the whip if we have more. Oh, there's a safe spot thing. Fuck. But I, once I get over there, I'll show that off, I guess. Do I have it out? Okay, good. 
And of course, our magic is stronger now, so that's that. I'm sure you guys can figure out what the hell that does. This is what Holding Square does, and it's what Holding Triangle does, so. Yeah, it it is time, though. Time to the sense that uh, it won't last forever. You do it. So, keep that in mind. Nothing over there I really need to worry about. Anything over here? Probably not. Didn't think so. Okay, good. So, we're good to go. Let's save the game and get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of Dodge. That's fully upgraded, and that's fully upgraded. Next up is this one. So, yeah, we're almost done with all the upgrades. Damn. But anyway, guys, I will see you all next time we play some more God of War 3. Woo, this was a big-ass session, but it was worth it. So, that's at least a few days worth of videos right there. But anyway, guys, like always, I'll see you all next time. So, take care, everybody.